Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to your third Wireshark tutorial for beginners. So, in the last video we talked about the environment and how to basically change the layout of the environment in Wireshark to meet your specifications or whatever you feel uh, more suitable for you. We also looked at some toolbar actions and what, what the, the icons on the toolbar do. Now in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the capture options and the interfaces in depth. So again, this is what I'm going to be talking about, the whole capture options and interfaces. Just for the sake of this, uh, for the starting of this video, we're just going to select Wi-Fi, all right, because, or whatever NIC or uh, network interface card you're using. So I'm just going to stop uh, scanning for packets. And uh, I want to just show you something here. You want to hit this little capture options uh, icon here. And once you hit that, it's going to open this menu. Now, uh, as you see, there are about four uh, network interface cards that I have here. Now, two of them, the VMware network adapter uh, and this one right here, one and eight, are not real in the sense that they are not actually hardware. They're just software, virtual um, network interface cards. These are for my virtual machines. I have two, my Wi-Fi and my Ethernet. I'm currently using my Wi-Fi card. So that's, you want to select the one that you're currently using. Now, it's going to give you information, uh, more information about it. Now, when it comes to this tab here, the promiscuous mode, what this means is that whether or not you want to allow your Wi-Fi card to read packets or read data from other devices. Now, let me explain why this is a, actually a setting. Now, in Wireshark, you have two options when promiscuous mode is enabled or disabled. When it's disabled, Wireshark is only going to scan data or packets that are meant for your computer and it's not going to scan for packets from other devices uh, from their devices to the router. So that's basically what promiscuous mode is. Promiscuous mode basically pays more attention to data that's going to and from other devices. So it actually allows you to read packets and data from other devices. Now again, this is highly legal without permission. I don't recommend you going and using this uh, this method uh, like in a public place it's highly illegal and if you're actually caught you will be apprehended and uh, it's a crime so again you have to have permission from your network uh, administrator or you basically have to have permission to scan the packets on the data so yeah that's pretty much about uh, uh, what promiscuous mode is 